What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. We're back out in the kayak, trying to get out in the ocean. It's been super rough out here and today it's actually a little rough as well, but we're gonna try to make it happen. I made the cardinal sin of promising some crab to some people. So the pressure's on, I gotta get some crab out here and then we're also gonna try to do some fishing as well. So we got Taku, Outdoor Chef Life, and it's with Fish He's back there doing something with his kayak. Anyway, let's get out and get some crab. All right guys, so a little change of plans here. It's a little bit rougher. I don't know if you can tell from the GoPro or not, but it's a little rougher than we would have hoped. So we're gonna drop them pretty close to the jetty and then go hunker down at the jetty. Maybe do a little fishing around there and then come back out and get our pots. But we don't want to risk it where we get out too far and then we can't get back and get our pot. So we're fairly close to the jetty, not right outside, but maybe a quarter mile, half a mile, something like that. So we got our first spot here. Let's drop it in. All right, number one, going in. Whenever you drop a crab pot, you always want to make sure you mark your spot on a GPS of some sort so that you can come back and find it, especially with the swells like this, um, with the ups and downs, it's sometimes hard to see the uh, marker. So marking our spot on the GPS here, let's see if I can figure this out. Waypoint created, boom. Okay, there's number one. All right, one pot down, two to go. All right, and pot number two, going down. One thing to note here in California, it's not required, but it's nice if you use leaded rope for your crab pots because this rope will sink in the water. That way when other boats are coming by or other kayakers, they won't get tangled up in your rope that's floating on the surface of the water. Not required here in California by law, but it's always good practice to use leaded rope. So anyway, pot number two, one more to go. And last but not least, pot number three. And boom. Alright guys, so while our pots soak out there, we're going to do a little fishing inside the jetty. You can see the jetty right behind me here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do a little bouncing and ish with fish gave me this little bait that he has called Squiddy Bits. Made by, I think it's another YouTuber called Hey Skipper. And uh, I don't know, I've never seen this before, but it's got a lot of salt and a little bit of squid. And who doesn't like salt on their food? Yeah. There's so much salt in here. Hopefully this water out here is gonna be a little saltier than normal. What is this? Not gonna be any salt left in the ocean after we're done with this thing. <laughs> you have any open cut, watch out. <laughs> Might keep you your wetsuit. Oh, just eat some. Look how's it taste. <laughs> Salty. good so we'll see maybe our pots are fishing a little bit better than theirs but I don't know from their numbers it's not looking too good fingers crossed all right let's see what we got Uh oh. Uh oh. There's. Looks like 
one keeper, one actually two keepers, one keeper dungy, one keeper rock crab, and then a little dungy. Not too bad considering the other guys didn't have any keepers in there from what I saw. All right, there's one, it's a male. It is missing one claw, but let's make sure he's a keeper. All right, one keeper. And then there's a keeper rock crab. This is a pretty nice rock crab. Typically when you're crabbing, you're trying to go for Dungeness. That's the more desired species, but seeing as today's gonna be a tough crabbing day, this one's gonna go in. Minimum size of these is four inches. This one is about, six and a quarter so definitely a keeper we'll throw them in the bag a little dungeness male but definitely too small all right we're gonna drop this one back down I know it's best Pod number two got a little bit of weight to it oh wow I feel like this one's heavier than the first one I don't know, I could be wrong. Oh, that's why it's coming up off of Here's a couple dungies. I think one's a keeper. Oh, this is all tangled up. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. Keeper number two. Small. Small rock crab and one more small dungeness. Last but not least, number three. And oh, there's a couple of good ones. A couple of good rock crab. I think all the dungeons are too small. Look at that though. That's a healthy rock crab right there. Look at this guy. He's definitely seen better days. He's got a hole in the shell. He's got some barnacles on there. And he hasn't even made it to keeper size yet. I don't think. No, too small. Well, these guys definitely seen better days, but good luck out there. No, not quite. Another nice rock crab. We'll keep him. It's a brown rock crab. All right, we just dropped them all back down again. Final count was, I think, two keeper dungies, three keeper rock crabs. Not stellar, but not terrible either. So we just dropped him back down. We're gonna go get a bite to eat. We'll catch you back in another couple hours. All right guys, round two, heading back out. Fish with fish chickened out. Just weed cocker now. We're gonna see if we can get a few more crab here. to come back out here. It was a little dicey. I don't know if you can tell by the video, but these are a little bit rougher than ideal. But we're hoping that this second trip here pays off for us. We'll find out soon enough. I don't think it's a full pot, but there might be one or two in here. Oh, wow. Oh, not bad. I think there's actually two keepers in here. Another little rock crab. This is a female. It's probably a keeper, but I'll let this one go. We already got a few of those. 
This is a Dungeness male. You can tell the males from the females. The males have this part here, it's called the apron. The males is a lot skinnier. Wit females are a lot more wide. And uh, this one's a male. I think it's a keeper. Here in California, minimum size is five and three quarters inches. And you measure on top of the shell here. Yep, it's a keeper. Just about six inches. Definitely a keeper. Toss him in. Drop my bag, so I'm just gonna sit back here for now. And then we got one more in here. I think this one's also a keeper. Another male. Got all its legs. Just get the claws out of the way. Yep, it's a keeper. Just over five and three quarters, about five and seven eighths. All right guys, we just left Taku. He just got a couple of keepers in his, so there will be an outdoor chef gourmet crab video today. So make sure you go check out his video once we're done this one. We've got two pots left. So if I can get, let's just say if I can get two more keepers out of those two pots, it's a lot of success. Anything more than that is just a bonus. Okay, there's a couple crab in there. All rock crab though. Hmm. All right, so if I was dropping pots back down again, I probably wouldn't drop in this area because there's all rock crab in here, which means it was probably dropped next to a rock. There goes one little one there. So if I was dropping back, I wouldn't drop it in the same spot. So here's the brown rock crab next to the red rock crab. So they're pretty similar if you just look at them from afar. But if you look closely, this red one here is a little bit more rough on the, on the shell as opposed to this brown one here. It's not entirely necessary to know the difference. Both of them are the same here in California, 35 uh, catch limit and four inch minimum. So as long as you know it's a rock crab, you're good to go. But this one's a female. You can see there at the bottom, this one's a male. This one's a little bit smaller. This one's a little bigger. And it's got both of his claws, so we'll keep this one. Are we looking down there? Oh, there's the pot. And, oh, all right, all right. There's three in here. I'm not sure, these are gonna be close. At least one's a keeper. All right, here's the male. I think this one's gonna be too small. Oh, look at this. We even got a stick in this one. No, too small. I don't know, this one might make it. May or may not. Uh, it's not bad, I guess. I don't think it's going to, but we'll see. Nope, too small by about an eighth of an inch. Probably end up in another crab snare, crab pot somewhere. But this guy, fortunately for us, unfortunately for him, I'm pretty sure he's gonna make the cut. Yep, six incher. Six inch crab, so that concludes the day going to show on this one. Here's a couple of our keepers that we have to show for today. That little baby crab or baby claw. Anyways, here's a couple of our keepers. We finished with five dungeon keepers and I think four or five rock crab as well. So not a bad day out here. Conditions were super rough. Honestly, we're probably lucky to even come out here. So we got to hunker down before it gets worse. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video. How many likes would it take you, me to put my finger in there? I don't think it's worth it. No. Bite the camera, bite the camera. Woo, look at how quick they are.